Redditors who are now married because you didn't know how to break up with your significant other. How is it going for you? Good. I never really wanted to break up. But I didn't think I knew what love was. She was my first girlfriend. We had fun. Maybe it should have ended when college ended. It felt like a natural ending. But she bawled that she loved me so much. We carried on. Long distance. Maybe I thought I'd never get anyone else. Maybe I loved her. I wasn't sure. Things just sort of happened. We moved in together and life went on. She started talking about marriage. I was terrified but went along. She started talking about kids. I was terrified but went along. That was over 10 years ago. Married. Two gorgeous kids. Totally in love. We take couples holidays. We fill the walls with printed selfies and funny pics. We don't always have sx constantly. We don't always buy each other gifts. We don't stop telling each other that we saw a really hot girl guy on the train today. Turns out love is just being happy around someone. Forgiving their faults. It won't always be the same as that first 6 months. And it doesn't have to be. I'm totally in love. I think I was all along. He threatened to kill himself if he left. So I didn't. And we got married. Then he threatened to kill himself if I divorced him. So I left. Not because I wanted him to do it, and believe me. I desperately want to turn this into a great joke. But because it suddenly was clear to me that I was in for an entire fck lifetime of being afraid. So fck that. I walked. And he's still alive. For those of you where it worked out. Great. But for those of you who saw this and thought that me. And you don't have kids. Don't. Have. Kids. As you can see in these comments. It changes everything. That piece of paper saying you're married can be cancelled. Little humans can't be. I was lucky and got out after a couple years because we didn't do that. And I'm now married to the most amazing woman who ever lived. Comma if you are anything less than all in with your s. Oh. Then not only should you not be thinking about creating more human beings to live in that environment. You should realize that once you do. You're locked in. Edit. Bro. This totally blew up. You can tell how serious a redditor I am by how long it took me to thank everyone for the upvotes and, if I understand right, the gold. Happy if this comment helped people. Poorly. We fight a lot and it affects me in so many aspects of my life, I see a lot of that in these comments. I find myself constantly looking back at our dating history and all the times I tried to break things off but she talked me out of it. Including twice while we were engaged. It's just coming up to our first year but I'm thinking of divorce already. No kids in the picture. Sorry for the sad story. Hopefully things are better next year. Edit. Seeing this thread though doesn't make me feel nearly as alone. I love Reddit. Good luck everyone. Edit again. Sorry I keep editing but I can't tell you all how much the support helps. I've kept this inside and told no one about the attempted breakups nor about how I truly feel in this marriage. I love this community. You all rock. Run dude. Seriously. Before kids. After kids it is exponentially harder. You can't comprehend it until you are there. Listen to people on the outside. You are too close to see it. Is what I would have told myself if I had a time machine. Two kids and divorced. Same. Great. Actually. He's a wonderful husband and balances me out with his steadfast caring and happy equilibrium. I'm glad we got married. Edit for explanation and honesty. I tried to break up with him a couple times because he sometimes gets on my very last nerve and because I thought it just didn't feel right. He annoys me less now. Or maybe we've both gotten better at dealing with it. As far as not feeling right. I still have fleeting moments where I feel that way. And it's scary to think that I might have made a huge mistake for life. But they're outweighed by the vast majority of moments of contentment. Life. And happiness. I'm a widow. And he's my second husband. So I think there will always be part of me that feels like I should still be living my first life. 
with my first husband. But that's not possible. And this is good. So I'll take this gift and try not to be too critical. It. Got. I love Reddit. For some naive reason. Didn't know this was as a normal thing as it was. I'm definitely that guy. Even thought of it leading up the wedding like what am I doing? All because I didn't have the balls to break up with her? Then bam. Pregnant on wedding night. Now we have two kids. Super happily married. And realized the reasons I wanted to break up with her were all really stupid. Which makes sense. Because generally I'm pretty stupid. She's the only person that can tolerate my personality full time. And keeps me from my constant natural inclinations to be a FCK up. Edit. FCK guys. Thanks for upvoting this. But now if anybody in my life ever finds my username. I'm gonna need to save up for a divorce. Delete the gym. And call Facebook. Edit 2. First. Haha <laughs> yes. I understand the supposed irony of my username. Bad choices still lead to good stories and adventures. And sometimes. Good outcomes. My wife and I almost certainly would have broken up if she hadn't become pregnant when we first started going out. She had severe issues with depression and was very manic. Both up and down. When we first started seeing each other I thought it was a fling but then she got pregnant and we decided that we would have an abortion. Once that decision was made I resolved that I would help her psychologically for as long as I was needed. Things got really bad for a while but over time she was able to defeat some of her demons. All from prior to the abortion. Neither of us have ever regretted that. And we were married a few years ago. Life is now great. The depression rears its head every now and then but we both recognize the symptoms and act to head it off before it descends too far. The stigma of mental health is the biggest issue as my wife still feels embarrassed and ashamed a lot and has very low self esteem but we work every day to be a unit and face these things together. Divorced 2 years ago on Christmas Eve. Best gift I ever gave or received. 8 years ago. I put my engagement ring in an envelope with a note. Packed my bag and went to my parents house. My mother told me she wouldn't let her daughter be a coward who ended a relationship like that and to go back and face my problems. I went back home. Put my ring back on and shredded the note. Our divorce was finalized a year ago in April. Hitler. Eats. Little. Penises. Comma H. Comma D. Comma L. Comma P. Blink twice if she's watching OP. I stayed with my ex-wife for 11 years until it all went to hell and she cheated on me. So I divorced her. It was like sleeping next to my sister the whole time. A disaster. All because I didn't have enough of a backbone to break up with her. Edit. What was worse was I tried to break up with her after we were dating for 2 months. And she basically guilt tripped me into staying with her. I was a fool for letting her pull that over on me. 11 years of my life wasted. I was 32 when we divorced. I am now happily married to a great woman and learned a lot about myself. Pretty good. Turns out we grew into the people each other needed. And are the happiest couple you've ever met in your entire life. I love her with all my heart. Blink once when she's gone. Divorced. She packed up and left while I was visiting family out of state. Took the dog. All my belongings. Emptied out my accounts. And pretty much disappeared. Found out a few months later she was having an affair. Oh well. Better for it now. What? You let her took your money and your dog? Isn't there some sort of legal procedure to deal with this kind of shti? Great. I work all the time. And she does nothing. And. By nothing. I mean she yells at me and the kids all day. If she weren't around we'd have no one to yell at us. And point out all the things we do wrong on a daily basis. It's like I am paying someone to be my aggressive life coach. Our relationship wasn't going well. She lived in Bristol and I lived in Croydon. I decided that the best thing to save our swiftly sinking relationship was to propose. It took her for a romantic getaway in the Quantox to pop the question. 
My flatmate came for moral support. Along with his junkie friend. Who was trying to go cold turkey. The weekend went very poorly. And I began to realize she wasn't the one for me. I had a long chat with my flatmate and realized I didn't have to get married. It felt so good finally realize that. I was on my way to end it with her. When she told me she found the engagement ring in my bag. She said yes. She wanted to get married. Out of embarrassment. I agreed. Edit. We divorced shortly after I jilted her at the altar. Working with her was a bit awkward after that. The divorce was the best 20k I ever spent. Married almost 6 years. Haven't had sx in 4. I think I'm ready to leave. Still care for him. A lot. It's like he is my puppy. Much better. Great right now. Even. To be fair. It wasn't because of him I wanted to break it off but because of his mother and some other issues regarding his family. One kid. Another on the way. He's an awesome dad and a pretty okay husband. Screw the family. You did not marry them. My girlfriend's family is also overly attached to her which makes every fight move into that direction. On the other side of the coin. I'm single. 29. And have been single for 4. 5 years. It's pretty awful holding out. But I don't have regrets. On the flip side. 28. Single for 3 years. Happiest I have ever been. Not letting relationships get in the way of my personal goals. Have excelled dramatically at work the last few years and am preparing to buy a house. I travel often with friends and enjoy the freedom I have. My married friends are jealous. Not saying I never miss the companionship a stable relationship offers. But definitely enjoying the single life more than I ever admit. Not completely related to the title. But my wife and I went back and forth for a long time. When I was in love with her. She hated me. And she needed me. I wanted nothing to do with her. Seven years later. We are in sync with one another and are completely in love. Patience. Honesty. And commitment is essential for a marriage to work. It is getting better. I have hopes that we learn how to feel glad about each other. This will probably get buried. Got married way too fast and young. Because Mormon. Found out the truth about Mormonism and stopped attending church. Once I stopped going I realized how important church was to her. Especially having a church going husband. This happened at the 2 year mark. And we tried to make it work for another year. Throughout that year she threatened to kill herself if I left. The love died and I contemplated suicide as I felt trapped as well. After 6 months of suicidal hell I finally convinced her to talk to the bishop. Once he found out that I knew too much about the church to ever believe again. Or be swayed by appeals to authority. He decided to recommend that we get a divorce. Which is very rare for temple married Mormons. We are both happier now. Wonderful. I'm really happier than ever. I don't think she could carry on very well without me. But I also don't think I could without her. Either. She's the only girl I've ever had sx with. But I'm not her first. So sometimes I wonder what it's like to have sx with others but at the same time I don't care. I have a great sx life. We have sx all the time us all have a hard time keeping away. I feel complete from her. We are truly happy together and I can say our marriage is probably an 8 stroke 10. Even beyond sx. I'm sorry. It's the morning and I'm very groggy. Close bracket. I love waking up with her. I love going to bed with her. I love eating with her and I love talking to her. We really are happy. Times are occasionally tough. But it's going great and I wouldn't change it for the world because she is my best friend. It. People who don't know the difference between compliment and compliment. Not worth it in the long run to stay in a relationship that isn't fulfilling. You eventually grow to like the person but resent the things you've denied yourself because you didn't act. If you aren't happy get out. He actually called at 1am to break up with me. He realized. So he says. 
that there were only two options for us because we had grown so attached to one another. Either he married me or we broke up. We were very young and our lives were about to go in very different directions so he decided to split before we tried painful goodbyes. Halfway through his breakup speech he changed his mind and asked me to marry him instead. We celebrated 10 years in November and have two amazing kids. We have a nice home that we've owned since we were 20 and will have paid off before retirement age. Before we're 40 our kids will have graduated high school and be on their way to college. We also have a dog. He's adorable. I'm not saying we're perfect but we're the exception to the rule. Right now we're good. After years of fights. Extended periods with almost no talking. Going out separately. Half year spans with no SX and the general douchebaggery from both sides. The last couple of years have been pretty good. We barely ever fight now, never about petty shit anymore. Have the kind of SX I wanted when I was 20. Actually give a crap about the other's day. Go on dates regularly and think of each other when we're out, like oh. I bet she'd like this. I'll get it for her. Dot. I'm typing this on the toilet. She just walked in. Started doing her hair singing you light up my life if that's not love I don't know what is. Almost got divorced. Then she took it in the butt. And loved it. Marriage equals saved. True story. No shti. There are an awful lot of bad relationships in here that could have been prevented with a condom or a pill. I'd rather pump out multiple. New human beings, who will go through a lifetime of the crap I am in too, who will also somehow absorb my misery. And talk to my so about how I really feel. Jesus no wonder there are so many broken relationships with this selfishness thinking.